हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ ए साइबर लॉ एंड एथिक्स दैट इज सॉफ्टवेयर पायरेसी द एक्ट ऑफ कॉपिंग सॉफ्टवेयर विदाउट बीइंग ऑथोराइज फॉर इट्स यूज इज टर्म एज सॉफ्टवेयर पायरेसी इफ समवन नीड्स टू यूज पर्टिकुलर सॉफ्टवेयर ही और शी इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बाय इट्स यूजेज ऑथोराइजेशन यस इफ anybody wanted to use that software details e content detail you have to take prior permission from the author one must keep in mind that paying for software before using permit its uses however it does not make the user the owner of the software software piracy covers the following action unauthorized installation of a software unauthorized use of a software unauthorized distribution of a software the privacy has been a big concern of a software company since long time the evils of software piracy are list below the loss of revenue for software makers compromise quality of a software the loss of tax revenue for the government the pirated software is not allowed to be upgraded and when connected to the internet is highly susceptible to the threat of a hackers and viruses so there are so many regulation which uh, which has been formed to discourage software piracy but none of they none of them are enough to provide full proof security to this computer crime yes exactly uh, the <clears throat> the uh, the term piracy related to the software which is to be performed regularly every day by the unauthorized access but this is the challenge of a, this is the challenge of the software industry to protect the database protect the uh, software piracy from the unauthorized access so these are the things which are related to the software piracy you have to uh, protect your software from the unauthorized access and what we have to do uh, we have to take the prior permission from the uh, users or what we can say that ki uh, author so that he that uh, the person can use the credential of that software okay thank you thank you so much